You're probably thinking what a ridiculous video, right? But you're so wrong! Because what's really ridiculous is how Windows 10 are doing such a simple task. Let me show you! So, I'm opening Action Center and tapping on Network Quick Launcher. And Windows are opening the System Tray Network menu. What the hell is this Microsoft? Let me do that one more time, in full screen, just to watch how ridiculous that is, even visually. Anyway, let's click on Network 2, and that will finally open the settings, only to see two more ridiculous issues. First off, what's Network 2? Is there a hidden Network 1 somewhere I don't see? And second, if I remember correctly, 5 seconds ago I specifically clicked on Network 2, so why it opens the Network's overview instead? But this parody has not an ending, so let's go inside Network 2. I'm looking for an option to disconnect network, but I don't see anything here. I could edit IP settings, and turn off IPv4, that would at least kill internet. But first that's so stupid, and second it is so bugged. So if I turn it off and turn it on later, I will stay without internet. Anyway, let's close this. Go back, and go to status page. Disconnect must be there, I bet my life it is here. I'm not seeing it at first glance, but I don't lose my hopes, because I bet your life it is inside Ethernet properties. Toasty! And we ended up exactly where we begun from, on Network 2 and no way to disconnect it. And on Windows 10 in year 2020. We need to open the old control panel just for disconnect the goddamn network. But it doesn't really matter, because most Windows users will just switch off the router. I have seen it happening. Really, 